we started by reviewing the geopolymer technology that is around the world and we decided that we need to accelerate the technology and we did a considerable amount of work over the last 18 months within our lab facilities um, within Marion Roberts to advance these technologies and as such we got to a level that was slightly above what the standard geopolymer technologies are in the majority of the world. It's what we call our level 2 tech which we apply today here at the City Deep Container Terminal of Transnet. Firstly, we need to go to the AfriSAM batch plant where we are batching now a blend of fly ash and slagman of 60% fly ash, 40% slagman and we are batching aggregate in there as well. This is the base material. As you can see in the back of the truck, it is a dry material. It will get wetter as we add the required chemistry on site. The difference between different size uh, mixes inside the truck is large and we want to measure the difference. This is why the first truck has only got two cubic meters of material, the second truck will have four cubic meters of material and the third truck will have six cubic meters of material. So we can evaluate this mass effect and what influence it has on the workability of the material every time. The first chemical that gets added is a blended silicate based material. Now this material um, helps to start dissolving the flyish particles and start making the material reactive. With the addition of the second chemical it acts as a seed or a bridge between all the particles and thus you have the setting starting. As you can see, the slump is 165 millimeters for the first truck with two cubic meters. The concrete flows beautifully into the area, but it is only two cubic meters of material. The truck will leave now to go back to the batch plant and load four cubic meters of material. Second truck comes back, four cubic meters of material we load it up and we attain 180 more slump. The truck is now going to go pick up a, a six cubic meter load, the largest load. The third truck arrives on site at six cubic meters of material. Once more the slump comes out within our devised range at 190 millimeter slump. It combines nicely with the previous material and meshes without any coal joints or pore joints. This product is exceptional. Just the level 2 technology which we've applied has already reduced the cost by 40% of the material. And we've made a more consistent material this is fully air cured and as today with a blowing wind. Transnet have already said they want more of these panels cast on this project and with that we are looking at bringing our highest tech that we've developed, our level 5 tech, which will reduce the costs even further to about 30% of our current costs of a 40 MPA ready mix concrete and it should produce a concrete well in excess of 60 MPA. The rest of the industry, to be honest with you, has always fought against change. The construction industry is a conservative by nature. And as such, it will take them a while to change. 
And I hope it does. Because while they are trying to think about changing, we are changing. Marion Roberts is changing. Mm-hmm.